of trials. Everyone faces some form of trial in whatever circumstance they may be in. It could be physical. Some people struggle to get out of bed in the morning because they are experiencing chronic pain. For some, the trial is verbal. They might have said something that they regret saying, or someone has said something to them that is discouraging. Some people have relational trouble. The people they love might be distant. They could be feeling lonely because they have been ostracized by friends, family, or even people they work with. When I came to Bakersfield at the beginning of my freshman year of high school, I hoped to build better relationships with my family. For the past four years, I have achieved that goal to some extent. The only person I have not been able to get along with is my uncle. Our relationship started off well. We talked and laughed, but that was when I wasn't living with him. Once I moved into his house, I saw a complete change in his personality. He was not the loving and supportive person that I perceived him to be. He turned out to be the most demoralizing person I was going to know. In conversations, he would give me a long one-sided lecture on how I'm a disappointment that I am a terrible nephew. When he talks to me, my heart starts to race, and I look down at the ground. I say to myself, what did I do this time? When I'm in his presence, I can't help but feel we are going to get into some kind of argument. Our complex relationship makes it difficult for me to carry on a conversation with him, as well as making eye contact. In the recent weeks, I have learned that the trials we go through is the test of our faith. The Bible gives an analogy in 1 Peter verse 7, saying that our faith is being tested as fire tests and purifies gold. Gold is filled with impurities, which can only be removed by heating it up. The impurities would rise to the top and be extracted. This process would be repeated over and over again to refine and perfect the gold. The analogy says that our lives are under a continual flame, and though it may hurt, purifies and refines our faith. The heat exposes our flaws in our character and helps shape us into people we will be.